What's up guys, welcome back. Um, today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a simple layout for your mobile game, which allows you to move left, right, and cheat. So, basically, the reason, there's a better way to do this using touches, but I don't have a cable for my phone, which allows me to connect to the computer. So, the way I'm doing it is I'm using buttons. If you don't know, they just work on mobiles. Because, otherwise, they work on the Unity. So, basically, basically right now, I just have, like, two big buttons. And I just have two big buttons and a shoot button. And that works perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to do it, but in a better layout, basically. Because I want to have like two or three layouts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an empty inside here. First, I'm going to create a game layout. One for this current layout that I have. Just so I can turn them off almost. Game layout. There you go. And I'm just going to drag all these in here. The sprites are optional, but I'm going to be using sprites, so just letting you know. So, first thing you need to do here is you go, you, you go canvas, you need to create a canvas. Well, actually, if you just click here, and then you create any sort of UI, it'll create a canvas for you. That canvas basically just allows you to show everything on the screen. If you don't have a canvas, it won't show up. So, you go here, and then you go UI button, or you can use test mash button pro, but I had problems with that earlier, so I'm not going to use that. So you use that and then you go and then it creates this button here and you can just drag it, make it as big as you want. And then if you want to make it invincible, in, yeah, invisible, you just go here and then you go, boom, and then you can't see it anymore. Or you can drag in your sprite that you want to use and you go like that. That looks pretty bad, but maybe it's just because I, I actually don't know why it looks that bad. Oh, I know why. Uh huh. Because it's the way it's doing it, it's doing bilateral. We need to do point. If you're using pixel art, see, now it looks a lot better. And as the way it should look. So I think if you leave it like that, it will actually. No, I think, yeah, that, that's actually what you want. If you're using the sprites that I upload, you, you want to leave it like that. So, like, every time you click, it actually like, shows up and it goes gray. Okay, so that's the button to the left. So that's the that left button. Then let's remove the text because we won't need it for this. Then let's duplicate that. Call it right. And then change the sprite to this one. Again, we need to go back here. Again, you don't need to do this if you're not using pixel art but if you are using pixel art you need to put it to point otherwise it like it doesn't look that good basically then let's move this over a bit uh how do i like that yeah that looks all right i guess yeah let's leave it there maybe maybe closer like there so that looks perfect and then let's do one final one let's duplicate it again so duplicate and create a shot so the shot one i'm gonna just drag it in i shot sprite there you go first thing you need to do to create your things obviously you need to have a move sprite and then you're gonna put the move sprite on an object it can be any object in the scene i use the canvas for the buttons left right i'll show you the script right now so you guys can copy it down if you need to so Basically, all I do here is I just call my move left method, which I created in player, which is this stuff right here. Um, the way I did the move was I I got I basically just transformed the position. So I did transform the position equals vector dot two move towards, and then that would that would cause it to move like wherever you, you want it to move. Then transform the position, which is the position of the current with the current position of the player. Then target position, which is the place where you want to go. And then by speed, multiply by time delta, which is just to make sure that the movement isn't affected by FPS. Because if it was, it would be pretty effed up. Target top position. Target position is position dot x. So I'm only moving, it's still position.x, which is, it won't change at all. 
plus transform dot y which is fly which i set up here or i set in the inspector actually which is just plus five because i'm only moving my character side to side so if you want to create a game exactly like the game i'm making that's kind of what you do so then yeah this is a good movement script but there's ways to do it like if if you're making any other type of game you need to do a different one so i wouldn't really copy this one down unless you're doing a some sort of like space shooter thing okay so basically that's it for the movement and then i think the shooting let me just check here i think the shooting okay so the shooting i i used two different shooting methods but that's just that's because i the way i have my shooting set up for one of the power-ups i need to use two different ones i'm pretty sure i just dragged in the yeah i just drag in the player as you can as you can tell you can drag in any sort of player or any sort of object so you go so you go here you drag in the player or whatever whatever you're gonna use then you search here for the class yeah for the class that you have on your thing or the script that you have on your object so you like for example i'm looking for shooting and then i go shooting then i go shoot which will cause the player to shoot once this button is clicked and then here I go, then here I'm looking for another one, which I'm not sure what I should have said on that. Oh, I have canvas. So I have a shoot class in canvas too, which allows me to shoot the player. Yeah, shoot once this. So basically the reason I do this is just so I can get the actual, because there's a power up where it spawns two ships and I need, I need it for that. So this isn't very specific to what you're going to be doing, but that that's what I need. So I'm just saying, if you guys are doing something like a double, like a double up power up or something, that's, you're probably going to need to do something similar to this. So canvas, then you go buttons, shooting, then let's do it for the other two too. Canvas, buttons, go right. Canvas. Oop. I didn't add it. Canvas. Buttons. Go left. So now if you hit play. And now we click on the button. There you go. Everything's working perfectly. And that's how you set up a buttons um, layout for your mobile game. And this will work for any mobile game that you want. And it's basically just plug and play. The second you you like make the APK or put it on your phone, it's gonna work. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys find this useful. And um oh yeah, and by the way, make sure to set your canvas to your canvas scaler to scale with screen size. So because otherwise it will change up your like it won't scale and it will change up your thing. So just make sure it does that. Yeah, that's basically it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope you found it useful, and peace out.